Hey everyone, how's it going today? Welcome back to another update. So the big breaking news headline that's going on right now, as most of you guys already know by now, which I already made a video, so I'll put it at the very, very end screen. But the big idea is that the fourth stimulus package has now officially been approved inside of Congress in its entirety, both inside of the Senate and inside of the House, and is now essentially on the verge of getting signed by President Joe Biden in order to finally complete the entire approval. Approval. Now, of course, the story right now is, is that there are some people that are actually very happy at the package, which is a really, really great thing. But there are also admittedly a lot of people that are actually not very happy at the package that's currently right now on the table. Feel free to share your particular thoughts because it is very controversial and there's a lot of opinions that's been floating around right now. But one of the biggest key figures and people that is currently actually against the package right now at this time happens to be House Representative AOC. So the big story to going what's going on is, is that essentially is that she is actually admittedly one of the big politicians that did not actually voice in support of the fourth stimulus package that recently got approved. The most biggest reason why is, is because she ended up realizing that within this package, there admittedly actually aren't any particular social programs. So things such as like stimulus checks, unemployment, it was all sadly left out. Now, with that being said is, is that it doesn't mean it's left out in general, it just means that it's left out of this package, but it's going to, or at least simply put, social programs are going to certainly at least be considered in the next fourth stimulus package, which is now the social bill. So in today's update is I really just want to talk about what's been going on there, what AOC specifically said, because she has finally come out with a brand new statement, and then what this really means, and just simply put is the world of just fourth stimulus programs, whether it's in checks, whether it's in fourth unemployment, and all of that stuff that I think hopefully most of us really actually now do particularly care about. So it's hopefully going to make a lot more sense but as always real fast before we begin consider smashing the like button at least because we are making progress um at the end of the day consider subscribing and hitting the bell and as always feel free to comment any questions personal thoughts maybe whether or not you guys do support this package and honestly just really anything so with that being said let's get this video started <laughs> So maybe to just start with with some personal insight is that this is essentially the list of all of the Democratic politicians that were actually against this fourth stimulus package. And it's also the list of a lot of the Republican politicians that interestingly actually did support this fourth stimulus package. As we mentioned in yesterday's video, which once again, I'll put it at the very, very end screen, is that there were actually a lot of Republicans that are now kind of in conflict with each other. For example, Trump is one of the people he didn't vote on it, but he did voice it, as we mentioned in yesterday's video, who was actually against the fourth stimulus package and is now actually attacking or certainly arguing with a lot of the GOP Republicans that did voice in support of it about what happened. But on the other hand is, is that there were also a lot of Democratic politicians, as just mentioned, like AOC, who was actually very, very much against it. And a lot of the other Democratic politicians were also the politicians that happened to just simply put is, is that they have many views that align with AOC. They are essentially good friends with AOC. And they're also people even more specifically that were actually huge supporters of both fourth stimulus checks and fourth unemployment benefits extension programs. So what is the background story it's in terms of why she actually was not particularly happy? And I guess the statement that she recently made is, is that she officially came out over the last couple of days, or even you can say hours, because she's, again, this is something that's ongoing um, right now. And essentially is that the reason she voiced that she wasn't very happy about it was because aside from the fact that first off is that she really, really felt that we should have tried to approve both fourth stimulus packages. So as as in, again, keep in mind is that there's technically two fourth stimulus packages. There is the fourth stimulus physical infrastructure bill package. And then there is also the fourth stimulus um, social infrastructure package. And she was someone that originally really wanted to preach for both packages to try to approve together because she was very, very afraid that if they ended up trying to approve one of them, that they could potentially now end up walking away from the other one. And then who knew? 
knew or who knows whether or not that's going to end up happening. So what ended up happening is, is that in order to try to you know, make sure that we're able to have the entire deal complete in one swoop. She basically wanted to approve both of them at the same time. But sadly, what ended up happening is, is that they only ended up approving one of them, which is the fourth stimulus physical infrastructure package. And because that package sadly left out a lot of the social programs, such as like stimulus checks, such as like fourth unemployment, that is the reason why she's really trying to fight right now for it. And she basically came out. She obviously attacked a lot of the politicians that supported it. She also interestingly actually attacked Biden as well. And the Biden story is really because after they ended up approving it inside of Congress, Biden actually ended up making another speech celebrating the victory about how the fourth stimulus package has now basically finally come to some kind of agreement slash deal. However, of course, AOC is not very happy at that particular deal. So she's also also someone that's now actually against what Biden is currently doing at this current time. So in terms of what the significance and in terms of just her particular statement, Biden's particular statement, and what this essentially means is, is that the big news to really just, I guess, take away from this right now is, is that because they are now about to approve the fourth physical, and it might even already be approved by the time you're watching this, if you're watching this in the future, it does mean that on the great positive news is, is that they now will be moving forward in order to talk about the fourth stimulus, the social part of the package. So this would be things such as like child tax credit, paid family leave, essentially the part that has to deal with putting money inside of people's pockets. And because now that AOC has officially come out and is still ongoing to speak about it, it is projected and it's actually already happening right now, is that over the next couple of weeks, as they now start to talk about the social programs, AOC is probably going to now start to come out or is as mentioned ongoing and is now currently coming out to already talk about it essentially to really really now preach and fight to try to include as many social programs as possible and in a lot of ways she is actually the voice of a lot of the common people objectively speaking because her specific words you know according to if you've been following the news and all that is that essentially she specifically stated is that she wants congress to essentially put themselves in the shoes and the eyes of a lot of the common people she feels that there are still a lot of help that needs to be given out. She feels that she really, really believes that there are still many, many Americans in need. And there is a reason why she came out with her fourth unemployment bill, which we already talked about. So I'll put an end screen. I'll put a video at the very, very end screen that talks about it. I believe it's literally just called Unemployment to Early 2022 Retroactive or something along that lines, because that is basically the details about her bill. But the idea is that going forward, that's going to start to become the focus right now. But hopefully, I just really wanted to share that maybe as just some personal insight to know what exactly is happening. They are at least moving forward. They both have now come out to both as in both AOC and Biden have now officially come out to make their own statements. So we really just have to see what's going to take place from here as they start to make talks. They are on vacation right now this week for Veterans Day. They will be on vacation in two weeks for Thanksgiving. So they will be coming back next week in order to talk about it. And we really just have to see what happens. So if you guys found that relatively insightful, maybe consider smashing the like button if you guys haven't done so already. Of course, you guys can decide, consider um, subscribing, hitting the bell for just similar videos like this, especially if we do get more updates or as we transition to just more general financial topics. And as always, feel free to comment any questions, personal thoughts about honestly just really anything. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well. If you're watching this on release date, happy Taco Tuesday. And hope to see you guys next time.